today we learn how to solve puzzles. Hello again everyone, it's me, Eli's dad with Project Eli, where we educate, we lead, and we inspire. And you know, I gave a thought to is there a formula for solving puzzles, also known as the success formula? And when I thought of that, I actually thought about solving puzzles themselves. We have been given clues, and success always leaves clues, from Hasbro, Mattel, all of the makers of the big jigsaw puzzles. All right, success leaves clues. So let's take a look at the clues, and let's see if, in fact, they don't tell us how we can solve any puzzle. First thing is, what do they do? Well, the, typically a big jigsaw puzzle will have about, I don't know, 500 pieces to it. I mean, a whole a zillion pieces to it. And you look at it and it's overwhelming. Isn't that the way a lot of your puzzles are when they start off? Don't they start off to be overwhelming? But what do the jigsaw puzzle companies do for us to help us get started? Well, the first thing they do is they put the picture on the box. They give us a vision. They share the vision and sell the dream of putting it together. The first thing you have to have is a vision. If all you did was took out the pieces, there was no vision, no picture of what the puzzle is supposed to look like, how impossible would it be to put that jigsaw puzzle together? Virtually impossible. Second thing they do is all of the pieces, they're broken down into small tiny pieces, 500 or so, or 1,000 or however many pieces there are. They take these pieces, they're in little tiny pieces. Isn't that what you need to do when you have your puzzle? Break it down into its smallest components. Then, all right, what's the next step? The next step, how do you get started? Well, the first thing you look for is you have all the pieces there and what do you look for? You look for the corner pieces. That lays your foundation. That gives you the basics. And once you get your body in motion, you get your hands on all the pieces, you find the corners, once you're in motion, you get started and you start putting the pieces together. And it becomes easier and easier to fulfill the vision once you get started with something. So the key thing is have the vision, get the cornerstone pieces, and get started. All right, so what happens then? Well, each session that you have putting the puzzle together, now I don't know very many people that can put a huge puzzle like that together in one day. All right, so you, typically it takes a number of different days to do it. All right, but each session that you have begins with a revision. What's the first thing you do when you sit down to start putting the puzzle again? You look at the box, you look at the picture, you look at your vision. Are you doing that every day? You're looking at the end result of your vision. And you do not concern yourself because when you were working on it the last time, you tried this piece and that piece and this didn't work and that didn't work. And then you got frustrated and said, all right, I'll have to do it again next time. So you gave yourself a revision but you don't concern yourself the next time you get together with all the pieces you tried to put together that didn't fit. That is, you don't look in the rearview mirror and let past failures alter your mindset. You know it can be done. It's just a matter of connecting the right pieces in the right places. Does that make sense? And you take advantage of a mastermind group. Now, what's a mastermind group? I don't know sitting down with your girlfriend or your friend or your boyfriend, your husband, your children, and you're working together to put this puzzle together. People that have the same end game ambition that you have. Everyone sees things through different lenses, different paradigms, and different angles. Your kids will see things different than you do. Your friends will see things, your wife, your spouse, whatever, will see things differently. When they make a contribution, they see something you didn't see and they put two pieces together, it enables you to now start seeing things through a different lens because of their addition to the puzzle. It enables you to complement the contributor and make sure that you do that because that accomplishes two things. It makes the contributor 
feel like an important part of the team, it inspires them to focus more and more and to contribute more, right? Success breeds success. Positive feedback is a steroid, not only in puzzle making, but in life. Now, ideas get piggybacked. Each one can inspire a new vantage point, a new starting line. When you retire for the day because of frustration, you frequently see, in, in, you, when you start again the next time, you frequently see a new step to take that you didn't see the last time. Why? Because your mind is fresh. You're not starting with a mindset of frustration. You've regenerated and the frustration mindset has been eliminated and replaced with a new optimism. When you fit that first piece in place that you didn't see the last time that you were trying to put the puzzle together, it acts as an elixir. Progress is the elixir. As you get closer and closer to realizing the picture on the box, accomplishing the vision, you have now a new momentum that inspires you to continue until you've reached the successful conclusion. And when you celebrate your success with a cocktail or an ice cream soda, depending upon the age of your mastermind compatriots, what is it that you retain from the process? The persistence of each step, also known as the journey. What provides the sense of satisfaction is not the completion of the puzzle itself, but the accomplishment of starting from ground zero and the step-by-step -step achievement, the journey. The journey is the thing. Knowing that you can do it again is the thing. Accepting that challenge is the thing. The fulfillment of working together as a team is the thing. Documenting the formula for success for future endeavors is the thing. So stop and think about what it takes to put together a giant pig, jigsaw, pigsaw, jigsaw puzzle. You take all the, all the steps that are required in the success formula, starting with the vision, starting with the starting line, starting with a revision when you start again, stuck with a mastermind group, making sure that you give positive feedback to the people in your group. You follow, I mean, all of these little steps, and remember, the major outcome is the journey. The journey, what it took you to get from ground zero to the finished product. Until we meet next time, always remember, hey, don't ration the passion, fashion the passion. I'm Eli's dad.